How you doing? It's Henry. At Mowers and Blows! Good afternoon. Um, welcome to part three or four of my uh, Poulon PXT12538. I just realized that the model number being PXT12538 means something. PXT means Poulon. XT, PXT, 12.5 horsepower, 38. So PXT, 12538. That's the model number. Should have came to me earlier, but uh, just realized it now by looking at it. I was just adjusting the brakes. Fortunately, I don't have to mess with the brakes because the brakes actually work. I was just turning the brake adjustment nut one quarter turn to make it a little bit more uh, responsive rolls when it should and it breaks when it should beautiful day today um, today I'm going to be working on the deck and the underbelly of the uh, tractor a lot of you subscribers have commented on the fact that my blades look to be upside down initially I didn't think so right uh, but then because you guys have eagle eyes you see things that I don't see and I don't always watch my videos over again, so I always can miss something, you know? But like I said, uh, you guys have eagle eyes, and I appreciate all the comments and keeping me honest. It does appear that this blade is upside down, because as you know, it turns counterclockwise when you're looking at it from, let's say, the bottom. So it's going this way. It has to go this way because the, the grass clippings fly out this way. Right? So it has to move like that, counterclockwise, when you're looking at it from the bottom. And because the blades are going in this direction, the sharp part of it has to be on this side. This is the trailing edge of the blade, which usually is like the uh, mulcher feature where it turns up, fans the blades a little bit more into the area as long as you've got this part covered, and mulches it even more, kind of like mincing the clippings inside the deck you know so uh what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna remove the deck today i think you know because i want to check it out anyway and maybe repaint it black you know what i mean with some quick color also in a previous episode when we had this engine running when it's at idle it vibrates a little because on the bottom the belt was vibrating on the pulleys you know also, it looked like the engine was kind of moving at low idle. But now that we're checking it out, engine is not loose. It is solid on the frame. So I do want to check out the pulley system on the bottom. While the engine's running and the brake is engaged, when I disengage the brake, the tension pulley is supposed to uh, release from the drive belt. And I think the drive belt might be too long because that's what causes it to vibrate also. And also, uh, when the pulley is released, right, um, the belts, let me think about this for a minute. Yeah, the belts start moving the transmission and you can hear a pulley sound, like, you know, like maybe the uh, pulley is loose or maybe the uh, bearings are bad, but I need to go check it out. Also, my buddy, John over at Turning Wrenches 85, he says he has a similar Poulon XT and he's trying to figure out the pulley system on the bottom. So I'm going to take the deck off, put this tractor on its side, or at least leaning to the side, so we can get a better look at the underbelly of all the pulleys and stuff. And hopefully we can try to figure out um, the belt being loose, uh, the pulley making noises when it's ready to, when, it's, uh, when the brake is not engaged. So I want to check all that stuff out and at the same time take the deck off, probably repaint it uh, or just spray some uh, quick color on there to protect it from the rust. And also I think I might try to fabricate a um, side discharge chute for this because it's kind of dangerous. When the blades are moving, there's nothing to protect your foot from sticking in there and getting chopped off, you know. So uh, first thing we got to do is remove the deck. So this deck is, this tractor itself is essentially a uh, Craftsman LT-1000 made by AYP. 
This is a 2010 model, and it's pretty easy to take off. It's, uh, <laughs> I say that now as I'm having trouble taking it off. The front one over here, let's lower this deck all the way down. And so, uh, best way to do it is to disconnect this one here so that this part pops right off of the height hanger. This is a cable driven one. So it's got the um, cable attached to that part of it, which you just pull a pin there. The wire is on top of this part here where there's another pin you pull out. Well, I'm here, I might as well do it. There you go. The little pin pulls out. Cable comes off. There's a washer I'm gonna take off so I don't lose it. Like I said, here's another pin. Just pull off. And now, cable can slide off just like that. See that? Uh, I'm gonna remove this one too. Wow, I'm doing this without any tools. Amazing. So look. I'll have to jar it off in a second. Let's go on the other side. As you guys saw yesterday, I used that new device that I had as a scrubber. It really cleaned up the engine very well. Um, mostly the super clean, the foam. That really contributed to it getting clean very quickly. That super clean stuff is some good stuff, man, really. I mean, I'm not just saying that. It really is some good stuff. There's another one there. Front hanger, right? And then remove this one here. Wow, without any tools, I am amazed. And then to release this one bar over here, I think I'm gonna have to get a tool for this. Anyway, remove this. There we go. Knock this out. That drops. Pull this. That drops. Knock this out. Henry, looks like you've done this before. More times than I'd like to count. There we go. And you know what? I believe it's free. It is free from this contraption. Here's the cable, I wanna show it to you. This cable is about, I don't know, six bucks on eBay. Pretty good deal. Um, Chinese copy, of course. Um, now I'm gonna put the lever back up again so that this hanger, as you can see, that's how it works. This hanger moves up so it clears this area. Now we're gonna disconnect the mower deck belt from the bottom part of the double stack pulley around these belt keepers here. And there it is. Uh, I'm gonna rotate the steering wheel like this. The steering actually turns very well because I greased them recently and they turn pretty well already. So we're just gonna pull this out. First I'm gonna put down this uh, extra large uh, Department of Corrections uniform that I got from Elmira State Penitentiary up in upstate New York. That's where my friend Scott Keller lives. No, it's just a duvet cover. Duvet, that's French. There it is. Easy peasy. Was that a, was that a quick release of the uh, deck or what? Remember, this is just a 38, you know what I mean? So it's not a big, big deck. But that's the condition of it. And it looks aight. Just needs a little bit of reconditioning maybe. Pulleys seem to work good. Belt seems like it's an okay condition. Um, 
we did try the PTO and the deck and how it works and all that stuff the other day and uh, the deck just seems to be fine. We just need to check out the blades. I'll put it over here because it leans up against this basketball court there. Look at that. Here we go. These blades seem pretty new, although they're kind of beat up here. It's been hitting something and uh, it shouldn't be hitting on this side because it's the wrong side. So as a result, <laughs> The, um, the blade is very sharp still because it's not been used because it's been cutting with the dull edge the other side. So it appears that both of these um, blades are on the are upside down. Yes, this goes that way. This rotates counterclockwise so you see the dull edge is cutting the grass. The sharp edge is not doing anything. So we're gonna let me let me let me uh, impact these nuts off, and I and I hope I can do it well because I don't want to break the spindles. The deck seems to be just fine the way it is, and uh, if I go and mess with it, which I plan on doing, I could ruin things. That's what usually happens. I'm gonna use some penetrating oil from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products, and just do that a little. It's a 5.8 socket. And let's see if this just turns a little bit. It is turning. Nice. Can you guys see that from this angle? Yeah, you can. Good. So I'll just flip it back again. It's a, uh, oh, six star. I say that it doesn't seem to quite fit. What is going on, man? Doesn't seem to fit, bros. Isn't that preposterous? Why doesn't it fit? Would it be bent? I'll have to figure this out. So you know what? Remember I was taking it off and I says, hmm, six star. That's strange, right? Well, I knew for a fact that Craftsman's were five star, right? Well, this is a six star. This is a, this is an MTD blade that he's putting on here. Troy built MTD yard band, see? They have the six star, right? That's why it doesn't fit on there. So I wonder how it fit on there before. I bet you he, he just had this on there and that's why it might vibrate a little, you know? So I'm gonna have to think of a way. I mean, I got plenty of LT-1000 blades, right? But remember, this is a 38 deck. The ones that I have are for 42s, which means that each blade is a 21 inch, whereas these blades are 19s. Well, I don't think I have 19 inch blades that go on a five star fitting, you know what I mean? So that probably ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna have to think about this. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but in the meantime, let's remove this one and see if we have a similar situation here. Luckily, this came off no problem. And this is, <laughs> this is also a six star on a five star thing. So, oh, but you know what? Does this go in the right direction all the time? Nope. It was on upside down, right? So okay. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to see what I can do about getting these on. So check this out, baby. These are five star blades. Look at that. Almost new. They don't look new, but if you look at it. It's like somebody had bought them new, right? Let them sit outside or something so they all rusted up. But these are like new. Sharp edges, super straight, you know? Looks like new old stock just left outside, you know? You can tell because they match perfectly like that without any bends, you know, like it comes. 
Well, maybe a little bit. Well, these are good blades. Anyway, so these are five star, see? Problem is, these are for a 42 inch deck, which means that you're gonna have about two more inches too much. So I'm thinking about just cutting an inch off of each end. You know what I'm saying? Just a straight cut, one inch off of each side, and that would work. Goes counterclockwise. No, oh, doesn't seem like it fits. Anyway, that's what I probably will do. So you ready for this? Check it out. So the owner of these before banged on these uh, MTD six star blades onto the five star uh, spindles or shaft, right? And as a result, he's mushroomed these things on. I mean, they've been banged on, so each point of the star is mushroomed, pushed down. So now this is too wide for it to fit my new five star blades, see? So I have to like, kind of grind it down, like go like that, you know? And just like, kind of, take out the mushroom so that makes it makes each point more narrower narrower <laughs> as you can see there can you guys see that these are banged down so they're mushroomed so there's like a lip that sticks out that won't allow the blades to go on i guess if i really banged it it will bend and go in but i'm just gonna do this and just like round out the points and then i'm gonna cut an inch off of each side, evenly. So I think I took the mushroom out, and I took the mushroom out of this one, and while it still didn't go in, I uh, put the bolt back in and impacted it in, and this washer pushed it in. So I think that'll work. So it's on there the way it's supposed to be now. So now I'm gonna remove this again, if I can. And I'm gonna go take off an inch off of each side to make these 21s 19s. Don't you hate fixing other people's mistakes? So I put a new cutting wheel on my grinder. I've had this grinder forever. Uh, I have marked off an inch off of this side, inch off of that side. I used the old blade to measure exactly, and then I confirmed with a tape measure. So here we go, Let's just chop it off. moving. I'm gonna have to figure out another way to do this.
So as you saw, I uh, cut the blade, inch on each side, uh, sharpened it a little bit, but it's very sharp already. Tapered off the edges over here with the grinder. And then with the top hole there, right, you put a screwdriver there and you see if it's balanced. If one side is way heavier than the other one, it'll go like that. You know what I mean? But they're both evenly balanced. Enough that you won't see any kind of vibration, you know? If it was way out of whack, you would see one side dip. It's only designed to do one side. You can't, you can't hook it there. But that's the middle part right there. So it looks like maybe this side might be a, just a smidgen lower than the other, but not, not a lot, you know? It's good enough for me, man. So these should be uh, 19 inches now. Looks like it goes on there pretty well. And I have it on the right side. Yeah, cutting edge counterclockwise. done. Let's see if I can put this one on. Yes, it does go on. Awesome. All right. So now we got new blades on here. And they're better secured onto the star, you know, the shaft. Before they were just sitting on top of the the lip of the star shaft, the, the points, you know. So now these these should be good, and they clear just fine, and they seem to be balanced, and we've sharpened it. So that's the deck. <laughs> I was just I was gonna do this video to look at the underbelly with the pulleys, but we just spent like an hour messing with the uh, with the deck blades. But that's okay. We need to do it, right? Just cleaning the outer part where you can see it. The middle part seems okay. I don't need to do anything with it. I'm gonna just coat it, whatever, but protect it from the winter. I just want to get some of the loose stuff besides here.
So finally, after I've gotten the deck painted, looks pretty good. I only painted the outskirts of it. The middle I left as it is, just to get the sides, you know, so it looks nice and clean. And that it does. So let's get to this tractor now. Let's see if we can tilt it to its side. And take a look at the underneath underbelly of it. Got a chair over there, I'm just gonna lift it. Stay. Let's take a look underneath. In real time. All right, so the brake is off, okay? When you do engage the brake, it goes like this. And when it's very engaged, this belt is very loose. So when you disengage it, it's tight as it should be. So actually it seems okay. I don't really see anything unusual about it. Looks okay. Look how clean that uh, transmission pulley is. I don't think I've ever had one that clean before. Like new. We do need to change the battery today. Remind me to do that. But actually I don't see anything wrong with the drive belt actually. I was gonna change it, but it looks okay. Everything looks like it's in order. Um, John at Turning Wrenches wanted me to show him exactly how I have it over here. And this is typical for the LT1000s, you know? This bracket here, that holds the keepers, uh, that keeps the belt on the uh, transmission pulley. So if it slips off and you're missing that, that's the reason why it slips off. But I've got good tension here, you know. This is an idler. And that's the tensioner. The tensioner is one that um, moves with a lever. Idlers stay constant, just so that the belt has tension and also stays where it needs to be. Now, there was a noise when I did it, so I'm going to uh, lock the brake and see which of these pulleys actually make noise. Got the brake engaged now, so you can feel the pulleys move freely. Because when I do have it disengaged, right, when this is tight and it's turning, you could hear it going like, like something spinning, <sighs> you know, that kind of noise. If you look closely, the bearings are not moving along with it. It's so which means the bearings are good. But you know, I'm gonna take some toolbox buddy from my friends over at Lucas Oil Works and just earl it a little. And then I'm gonna earl the transmission thing here just to coat it. Every moving piece. Is that enough, John? See what you need to see? Here, I'm going to disengage it. <clears throat> Can't do it that way. You see it? So when I let go like that, transmission will spin this thing, then you put it in gear and it'll go. But I hear a noise, like that kind of noise. I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna oil everything underneath here. Well, I don't think I don't see anything unusual about it. I don't think anything bro anything's broken. I just oiled everything. Make sure when you tilt this back down again, you put these up, otherwise it'll get stuck. See what I mean? Right there. Let's 
Tractor's in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. While I'm waiting for the deck to dry a little bit, I'm gonna go whip out the battery out of uh, a tractor and put it in here because this battery is done. Mower gods just aren't good to me sometimes. These are so um, rusted that it won't turn at all. So uh, I'm gonna just cut them off. Or maybe I'll try again. Because cutting them off seems kind of sketchy. Yep, I tried. Can't be uh, can't be taken off. So here we go. How am I gonna do this? Smoking. Come on, bro. There we go. Hot. So I'm back in my backyard and I just thought about it. This uh, Rodimus Prime battery is actually not that great of a battery anyway. So maybe I'll just use, I know it holds a charge and I know I won't be running this anytime soon. So I will take this battery out. new battery on here, old battery. Got the deck on here. Started right up. Here's the noise I'm talking about when I release the brake. Listen.
there you go seems to work as it should I do need a side deflector chute though I don't think I have one so I went to the backyard and I actually found one of these things this is a uh, like a Toro you know side deflector chute accessory that you put in there and take the flap up put that there put the flap down and it stays there but it's just not right you know it's just too small even if I cut this part over here and well, actually that would that would be okay but um, bottom part would still leak out you know what I mean so yeah we get it I don't know what I'm gonna do about that wipe down the headlight lens. So there you go. There's another tractor that we got going. I'm pretty much done. I have another LT1000 that needs an engine and some other stuff, of course, like a deck. I actually need like two or three Craftsman LT1000 decks. I also need a side deflector chute for that deck over here that the uh, Poulon XT needs. But, you know, it's, uh, it's almost December, so I'm not going to be selling any lawn tractors anytime soon, at least I don't think. So I'm not even going to list that because it's not really ready to sell yet because we don't have that side deflector. I might keep looking on eBay. The cheapest I saw was $20. Yeah, I could just go and buy it. It's a pretty good tractor. I still can't figure out why that noise is there, though, when you... When you uh, disengage the brake to have the transmission running it just has that noise you know it really bothers me I'll have to do some more research on it but for now uh, that thing is 98% finished you know what I mean so I'm just gonna park it for the winter and move on to the next project thanks a lot for joining me on this uh, three or four part episode of my Poulon XT lawn tractor it looks pretty nice and uh, as I expected it didn't take that much to get it going um, once it's all fixed and 100%, maybe for next spring, I think I could probably get $650 or $700 for it. Maybe. It is a 38-inch deck, too, you know? But it's in pretty good condition. Thanks a lot for joining me on this episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey guys, John over here at Turning Wrenches, and uh, we'll see you guys next time on Bowers of Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.